I'm the garden rebel, Robert Vincent Sims. There's a particular palm that grows all over Florida. It's called the cabbage palm or the sable palm meadow. Now, these palms are very indestructible. Anytime you drive down a lot of the main highways, such as the Turnpike, you'll see them growing by the thousands. I mean, forest of them. Or you, you might see little individual clumps as well. You also see them in many residential landscapes. Now, there are over 2,000 types of palms. Uh, the cabbage palm is not necessarily, you know, the most striking or the most beautiful, but a lot of people do have it. And one good thing about it is these big, when they're big, they're, they're not that expensive because there's so many of them. And so that's kind of unique to palms because some varieties of palms can go into the thousands of dollars, where with a cabbage palm, you're just into the hundreds of dollars. Now, here's uh, a few little tips that you need to know, not only about the cabbage palm, but many other palms as well. For food, they like chelated iron, they like magnesium sulfate, they like manganese sulfate, and they love palm food. This tells you, friends, that they're heavy feeders. Feeding takes part about three to four times a year. If you have a palm that's ever chlorotic, which means yellowing, you just keep those nutrients on it and that will green it up, usually in one season or less. Now, these parts of the palm on the trunk are called the boots. These boots are simply the old fronds because remember, the palm grows away from you, so they die because they, they're not meant to stay with the palm forever. So you just simply cut them off, nice clean cuts, and some people like them, some people don't like them, but uh, I, I kind of like the look and I'll tell you why. If you put a night light on these in, in the evening, it, it creates a whole new texture and adds a whole new dimension to your yard. Now this happens to be a Florida native fern. It's called uh, Polypodium aureum or the bear's paw fern. And it will go through a little dormancy and get some brown. These are the older fronds, which is normal. It just grows wild. It's a very pretty fern. It makes a beautiful hanging basket too, by the way. And the bear's paw fern is called the bear's paw because down here at the, at the center right in there, it's kind of fuzzy and it feels just like a, a furry animal. It's quite, quite amazing. But when the new growth comes out, it's a beautiful lime green and it kind of cascades down and is quite, quite beautiful. Final thing about palms, for you fertilizer, make sure that you take out uh, all of the grass around them because if you put your fertilizer right uh, on top of the grass here, the, the grass and the weeds will take all of your, your nutrients. They're robbers. So you wanna put your fertilizer right in this area. This is where the feeder roots are. Do not put the fertilizer up close to the trunk because there's no feeder roots there. The feeder roots are the roots that are responsible for bringing in nutrients uh, to the plant. And so we put the food where we need it. Because if you put it over here, the plant can't, can see it but the plant can eat it. I'm the Garden Rebel, Robert Vincent Sims. <laughs>